All right, boom. So the time is 1.56 p.m. Um, and the date is January 26, 2024. Episode two of the clothing brand vlog. I just came back from the gym and I was in communication with a printing house that's in the Bronx. I have a couple of tote bags that I'm trying to drop, like a dozen. And I just got a really good quote on um, the price for that. So I'm about to take a shower, get a late lunch, um, and go drop that off, go drop off the tote bags. Today we're just gonna be dropping off the tote bags, going over inventory of like the blanks that we have, looking at the blanks that we wanna get for the next drop. We might purchase a couple blanks today just so we can get the sample in our hand, but maybe I don't have to purchase the blank because actually, hold up, let me call my brother real quick. Yo. Yo. Um, you still have the LA Apparel hoodie? If me have what? The LA Apparel hoodie. What it look like? No, no, it look like it. I think you have one green one or one navy blue one. You did buy one for yourself. If you look on it. Oh, see now closet. No, no. You can double check for me so I can look on one, please. Oh, yeah, you right now. You don't need it. Alright, I'm going the video. I'm going to see... If I have to order none, so I can see what it really fit and feel and thing. Ah, then I have to order come look on it too. If I have it. If you have it, fuck. <laughs> Alright, later. Mm. Alright, boom. So, I'm going to check if my brother has a blank from LA Apparel. Um, if he does, then I'm going to look at that blank and see how I feel about using it for the hoodie drop that I'm working on. However, the tote bag drop that's really like it's a capsule and i'm really trying to master the art of selling out with that drop like i really just and it's my first accessory so like i feel like with an accessory people can carry that stuff like all around like you, you can really see an accessory all over like like an accessory can be in multiple fits while people will wear a hoodie multiple times but they're not really gonna post a hoodie multiple times but they will wear that tote every day if they like the tote so and if they like the message that goes with the tote so i have those and i got the quote quotes very doable and we're about to drop that out today pay today and hopefully get those by next week and i want to go heavy with marketing like like every drop that i do the marketing has to be going crazy and i might really drop this back valentine Valentine's Day or after Valentine's Day just because I want to get the marketing super fleshed out whenever I'm doing a drop like I want the marketing to be just like bare videos you get the whole concept and I want to sell out the minute I drop it I want to work out on selling out the minute I drop something just to get that like appeal going it's not a lot it's just 12 bags just a dozen bags if I can't sell out to 12 people like Bro, it's not like it's not even like it's a hundred. It's just twelve people. You know what I'm saying? Like I know twelve people. You know twelve people. Everybody knows twelve people. Not everybody. But anyways, tote bag drop. We're about to eat, we're about to get breakfast, shower, and probably gonna pick up Darian so he can record us dropping off the bags to my to my um printer. Yeah, should be a chill day. Episode two clothing brand vlog. Looking back now, the creation of Please Please is clearly one of the crowning achievements in Isemiyaki's career. Yo, I'm an iPad kid, so I gotta watch something every time I'm eating. But I'm trying to control the content I'm taking in. So it's like, okay, instead of instead of watching um, anime all the time, nothing wrong with anime, I try to take in some type of educational content that's entertaining and interesting to me. You feel me? Bro, this channel called Threaducation has 209,000 subscribers at, at the moment of watching this you got like 50 videos up if you care about fashion you want to get into fashion and you're in fashion school not in fashion school don't want to go to fashion school want to go to fashion school watch every video on this channel bro is a hidden gem bro like right now i'm watching the um the history of issei mayaki and i know i know about issei mayaki like if you if you don't know about designers and you want to know about designers or you know about some designers you want to know about more designers watch this channel like the next video up is the downfall of hood by air like that's two, that's a two-year-old video 24 minute long like you still want to watch that you know what i'm saying the history of undercover like you still want to know about all those things so you can have a understanding of all the other brands that were within the space and all the the other designers within the space, the different levels of designers. What's the difference between V Loan and Marnie and, and Bottega Vanetta and, and all that stuff? You feel me? Like just understanding those brands. Because even if you're not making luxury clothing, understanding what luxury clothing is, what fat, you know, Paris Fashion Week is and stuff like that will allow you to understand where your brand stands on that totem pole. And I'm, I'm loving the content. Dude's amazing. All the videos are really, really good. Go tune into that. Trust me. Worth it. Floral perfume. And to say that people loved it would be an understatement. 
It's possible that you've never even heard of it before because generally speaking, many people, myself included. But this is the tote bag, right? And it looks bigger on shoddy. And mind you, like this, she might just be a smaller person than me. And then on the, you know, on the average size person, it's going to fit like this. But in my opinion, let me show you, let me show you guys in person. I don't think it's as big as this in person, in my opinion. So this is the bag in person. I'm doing two colors. Like this is my hand. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm ashy as hell. I'm sorry. But I don't know. I, I want it to be a little bit bigger, but I think it's going to do what I want it to do regardless. So we're moving, but I'm going to work on getting bigger bags eventually. The size of the bag actually made me change the price. I was going to sell it for $50, but I personally feel like it's no longer a $50 tote. I personally feel like it's really going to be worth $40. Okay, now that I'm looking at it from this angle, which is putting it on top of like a tote bag that I have. Yeah, it's not that much smaller, it's just that the design is different. So, well, it, it, it's, it's smaller for sure. Like I, I'm, you lose like an inch half an inch on each side so an inch in general on the width and then the hand this what's it called is bigger than the average tote but I, I don't think i think i like that i don't think i mind that this is this is the tote that i'm putting it up against um and i wore this the other day so yeah we're gonna see we're moving forward Happy New Year. Word up. I'm recording right. a little documentary type video. Oh yeah, no worries. Have the screen. Word up. Place Welcome to be. Back. <laughs> Good to see you. We, we about to be doing a lot this year. That's what's For sure. That's what I like to hear. Bam. So you at the old spot. I, no, I don't. I think, I thought this was the old spot. That address you gave me sends you to like a, to like a dead end. Word? Yeah. Oh, over there. Yes, it sends you over there like a truck stop type of place. Oh, that's weird. Right. Facts. That Facts. If you, I, if I haven't been here before, I wouldn't have made it. But, but then again, when you go off the address on the Instagram page, it's valid. They're all this size? It's bull denim, yeah. So it's fine Like if the if it doesn't fit, like if it doesn't hold, use the whole screen, I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I expected the bag to be bigger than this. Bigger. Yeah, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's kind of small. Yeah. That's all right, though. I have a play for it. You want me to fill the whole type? As yeah. big as possible? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, cool. White ink? White ink. White ink both. It's, it's um, brown and black. All right. I got you. Cool. Um, I'll need like a week. Yeah, take your time. Dude, what I'm doing with the YouTube is, it's like a clothing brand vlog. All right. Right? So, the base, like, day-to-day, -day, mad transparent, like, everything. Like, what blank I'm using, everything. You feel me? Because it used to be that if you if you give away what blank you're using, like, you feel like you're giving away something. But nowadays, if you don't have a good idea and, like, good brand identity, it no matter what blank you're using, it, like, people can't steal your brand if, you're, if the brand identity is good. Like, it doesn't matter what Awake is using, you can't be Awake if you're not the brand. You feel me? You could use their same blank, you could use established screens, but if you don't have that, like, representation with the brand, you're not really doing, you're not really doing anything competitive. You feel me? Yeah. So, I'm going to give that, try to promote the people that I'm working with in different ways like that. You feel me? Just have everything, like, super hands-on. I like that. Yeah. You know? That's fine, bro. What's your brand? Um, in frame. What's up? I'm Nav. Oh, Nav Euro. I'm Nav. N-A-V. Nav, Nav Euro. Say that. Where in Queens? Um, Redwood. Oh, Qu Queens? Yeah, yeah, Redwood. Oh, you Queens based? Nah, nah, I'm in the Bronx. Copy, right? copy. Because I'm like, you Queens based, you pull space, up. You feel me? Oh, that makes this sense. This the studio, though. You feel me? You know any artists? Valid, valid. So, you know, I got that. You see that. me, right, Eric? I already. Yeah, I see you Red dipped Bull, out. You know I printed everything yeah, he's rocking. Right. Say that, say that. <laughs> Fire. I love it. Yo, if you can't rock your own shit, no one's gonna. That's a fact, that's a fact. For real. That's shit I'm rocking right here, right now, too. Some old stuff and framed. Fire. Old hoodie. Fucking, uh, I'm happy you t you telling me about all this commercial stuff because mm -hmm. I'm looking to do, like, not only a commercial for established screens. Wait, you should. This, uh, this product I'm doing, it's like my first accessory for the brand. I'm only doing a dozen because I'm trying to sell out one drop. I'm, tr I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to master the art of selling out. So it's like, I'm going to do mad content. I'm going to do mad marketing. Boom, it's up. If I can't get 12 people to buy it, then I haven't figured out the selling out. What's it called? Yeah, yeah. 12 people, like. I want to do like a Valentine's Day drop for my brand. Okay. And I want to do like a really nice, good looking. One of my crowning Crazy. achievements as an artist. So I'm bringing Crazy, back. you got Andrew Schultz in here? Yeah, Crazy. yeah, so he went to my junior high school. Oh, in copy, the city, you know? so, copy. Yeah, he, he was rocking one of my old pieces. Yeah, I printed for all these guys. I even did, this is a collaboration piece I did with Virgil. 
Aya. Damn. Shit's hard. Rocky was tough. Damn. <laughs> he punched this off the thing. Damn. Damn. Ah, in framed. I really like what you're doing, like putting other brands on and not keeping secrets. Like when I first got, I've been doing this 20 years. Facts. When I know I you, started, you've been established. Yeah. We've no been cap. In the game. I've been in the game since I was a kid. Yeah. Um, you know, when I started, there was a lot of gatekeeping where nobody wanted to put anybody on, mm -hmm. you know, keep this brand a secret. Nowadays, mm -hmm. everything is so accessible and so well promoted, like brands that, you know, a year ago, nobody knew about Superline. A year ago, nobody knew about LA Apparel. True, 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 Now true. everyone's using LA Apparel. True, you know what I'm true, true. That's on LA Apparel right there. Exactly. And, it, and the thing is, it's so promoted. If you don't say it, somebody else going to say it. Because these brands, they, they market to us. They see young creatives. They see people that are establishing themselves. Facts. And they send emails to you. Mm -hmm. They, they want to put you on. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think that what you're doing is smart. It's very smart because there's a market for it. And there's... You know, there's a younger generation now that's just starting to blossom. Just a little seed is planted in their head, like, hmm, maybe I'm going to make a line. 11-year-olds, mm -hmm. 12-year-olds. Facts. That in 10 years, they're going to be the next Facts. big thing. The next Ronnie Feig, the exactly. next Pharrell, the next Migo. Exactly. And the thing is, too, one thing I realized, too, this, this is what I really realized um, that let me be like, yo, you really shouldn't gatekeep. Everybody can eat. Yeah, there's enough. There's enough. There's around. enough everybody, for everybody because right. it's illegal to be naked, and clothes don't last forever. Word, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm Every saying? season, everyone has to re up. Every season. You know what I'm saying? And if I drop something that was fire, you want the next thing that's fire. Yeah. Right. And then also, what's fire to someone like from my brand might not be fire to the other person. If if your brand is on point with what it's about and what it represents, you're only gonna appeal to a certain amount of people, and you cannot clothe eight billion people. No Word. one can. The fact that I've learned what I learned and experienced what I experienced, and the fact that I'm so young, I know that it's good. I know that the only thing that can stop me from succeeding is me. So if I if I if I'm going if I'm making stuff, dropping stuff, it could be twelve, it could be six pieces, right? I'm dropping and documenting it. I know people are gonna look back at episode one, episode two, episode three of the clothing brand vlog of this conversation with Eric, and they're gonna be like, "Yo, like this was the next Virgil, and we didn't even know it, and he was having this conversation." You know what I'm saying? So now I'm like, yo, you know what? It's my job to document everything and get everything because it's like, they're going to look back. Yep. It's going to be case studies in, in fashion school. We, let's figure out the next time when you come in and, you know, when, when we're printing your joints, we document it. You know, we start talking about the commercial for facts, the shop. Facts, facts. Campaign for this Valentine's Day facts. thing. Just, you know, making moves. Facts, 100%. You already know? Appreciate you. Bro. Appreciate you. Let me yeah. know as soon as those done. I'll yeah, come I I'll pick up. I have done next Friday. Perfect. Cool. Perfect. Thank you, man. I got you, brother. Um, I'll, call, I'll send you an invoice Monday and, you know, go over the details. Perfect, perfect. Sure. You have a good one, man. Alright. Yes, sir. Cut tape.